So I was flying the airplane the other night and um, I noticed when I went above about 3,000 feet, my encoder wasn't reading accurately. Uh, there's the readout on the 330, the GTX 330. And so I just did some troubleshooting, testing in the air, rolled my altimeter to 2992, and then just did some uh, climbs and descents between 2,000 and 5,000 feet or so. And if you see here, I'm at uh, 2,800. And if I bleed out some of my pressure uh, here, there's 27. going here 26 it hangs up there at 27 there's a missing bit so here I'm going to I'm at 2500 feet and I'm going to go up in altitude it's 25 26 27 it hangs and then it should start going back down 26 25 and as you go up like I'm at 3000 feet now I'm at 3,300 feet now, 35, 3,600 feet. As you go up to about 5,500, um, it goes down to zero. So I used the I used the chart to see what the bits should be as you go above 2,700 and what happens. And it looks like I'm missing, I think it was the A1. my little trusty chart here and let's just say let's just say I'm gonna put this on let's go to a known altitude let's go to let's go to 4100 feet I'm almost there so if I bleed if I bleed down Forty-eight. You're coming down here. Forty-four. Forty-three. Forty-two. And this encoder was pretty accurate before. So let's just stop. Uh, you know, good transitions and everything. So I'm going to bleed down here. Right. Get it right on. 4,100 feet. Pretty close. Uh, you know, I should be, I should be at 4,100. So let's see which bits are on the uh, C1, C2, B1, B2, and B4. So let's just look here. The uh, C1 and C2 are on. The B2 and the B4 are on. The B1 is on. But the A4, see there, the A4, it's the A4 bit that's missing. Uh, right there, the A4 bit should be on. So if you take this then, kind of hard to do one-handed. Let me set you down here for a second, if I can. If I take this and I put it on 1400, is what the encoder is reading. Is that's uh, that's exactly what I got? C1, C2, uh, B1, B2, and B4. So the difference between 4100 and 1400 is the A4 bit. So it it's actually good that it's not a wiring problem, and it looks like I'll be replacing the old Transcal. Uh, we don't see too many of these go bad, but you know on occasion. Things happen. This one's probably been in there for eight years, maybe a little bit more than that, um, when we did his avionics upgrade.